Welcome back to another episode of the Colon Podcast. I'm your host Ranath, and today we have our co-host Ratish. Um, so today yeah. we're going to uh, give you guys an update on what happened the past week. So um, firstly, we're going to start off by again updating you guys on what happened on our previous episode. We talked about uh, the Robin Hood app and the whole GameStop controversy, GameStop and GameStop whatever you want to call it, controversy. So um, we'll put a card <laughs> somewhere up there, um, depending on the location. Right. Um, yeah. A link to previous episodes, so you guys can go check it out and you know, get, get, you know, be up to date with, uh, be up get to speed, knowledge about it. Uh, yeah. what's going on. So today we're just gonna update you guys on what happened. So uh, Radish, what is the Robinhood app? For those of you who don't know. A Robin Hood app is a stock exchange app, man. You can buy stocks, sell stocks over there. You know, basically American stock. You know, Absolutely. that you can buy and sell them. Yeah, very simple. So that's it's, it for Robin Hood. Yeah, it's, it's just like it's very, very similar to foreign exchange, I would suppose. I haven't used the app myself, but um, it's been uh, I've seen I've seen it around. It's a very good app. Uh, people really loved it, the mm-hmm. UI and all that. So I think in the previous episode we talked about how this app was um, uh, you know they stopped um, what do you call it? you're able to sell but you're not able to buy more GameStop um, stocks right so we talked about that uh, that was uh, in the they previous barred it. They completely they barred completely the... they completely barred it yeah. so uh, this whole class action lawsuit going on for that company and uh, I'm all for it because like they can't do that right they can't manipulate the market by any means right that's the thing. Exactly, they were uh, conjoining hands with H one funds right initially. So they were joining, they were manipulating the market by you with, with whole held with H uh, one funds. So they would actually, you know, they sell, sold the data also, right? Yes, that's I was of about our to customers get, too. I was, I was of the users to, of Robinhood. I was about okay, to. Cool. I was about to uh, uh, get to that. Um, so the main, the <laughs> main way, that. Yeah, yeah, address that. So the main way they make money is by you know actually selling the data of um, uh, of the the users and the interactions with the stock. So they sell it to these hedge funds. They earn over seven hundred million dollars uh, uh, by doing this. That's their main way of making money. So I think it's important to know that yeah. if you're not if you're not paying for a product, that means you are the product, right? Um, so. And these hedge funds obviously uh, they can. We know. We never with WhatsApp, man. We clearly. Well, WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, they all work like that. So in this case, um, these hedge funds, they're able to, how should I say, um, kind of manipulate them. I wouldn't say manipulate, but like, you know, really use their instruments and, you know, kind of play the stock market game to their advantage by analyzing their, you know, how should I say, Mm -hmm. uh, characteristics and and their spending and spending and selling and all that. So that's what they do. That's what these hedge funds do. They play the game, mm-hmm. right? They don't contribute to the economy. So, and uh, exactly, so, man. Uh, yeah, exactly. And this Robinhood app also is li- owned. Well, should I say, has a collaboration with one hedge fund mm-hmm. called uh, Citizen, I think. So, Ratish, did you know that, uh, like, this Robinhood app is actually in collaboration, or should I say, mm-hmm. even um, like owned per se? By a hedge fund company itself. Okay. I think it's called Citizen. I'm not. Sh- I'm not Damn. sure about that. Yeah. So that. So. Dude, that they're using it as an advantage, bro. Hmm. Like an advantage to the company itself. So they will actually manipulate the market by themselves. That's the thing. So they so have the information about the customers as well as stock exchanges. So they clearly manipulate the market That's through the shorting it. That's the thing. Yeah. So they have all these advantages. They're using all these methods, and now. You know, when the people start using their brains and you know they're starting to make some money playing the game, all of a sudden you know they get a little um, jealous of it. They're losing their money. Oh, they yeah. complain about it. Are they complain. Yeah, they about complain it? about it. They so complain about it. Yeah. We, co- we covered that. In, we covered that in our previous one. So previous episode. So um, did you see what the secretary? I, c- I can't remember the secretary of uh, SCC or that um, American uh, organization which. Uh, government organization which kind of like okay. regulates the financial sector of the America uh, that woman uh, forgot her name 
she when she was asked this question what are your thoughts on this gamestop controversy she was like uh, oh uh, yeah uh, we'll talk about it later by the way did you know we appointed a new um, <coughs> female secretary and it's the first time in history i mean Okay. Completely, completely dodged the question like a, like a well, snake. <laughs> I'm not gonna answer your question. Yeah, I'm not gonna answer your question. I'll put out my statement, okay? My liberal I'll, statement. Yeah, America is gonna build up on feminism. <laughs> That's it. That's it. They're gonna be built up on feminism. That's it. I mean, I'm, I'm all yeah. against it. I'm, sorry, dude, I'm what all the hell? for it. Answer for the question, dude. <laughs> I'm all for answer it. Answer the fucking that's, question. That's not the. It's not the time and place to do it. You know, right answer to the question, dude. <laughs> yeah. So, there's a time and place for everything. So, in this case, yeah, completely sure. dodgy. So, obviously, red flags here and there. So, I think we should uh, not expect the SEC to do anything and, you know, completely be in the, what do you call, the hands of um, these hedge funds. So, yeah, uh, we'll keep you guys updated on that story. Let's move on to something interesting, Ratish. What do we have in stock for our guys? Yes. Our p- listeners today, bros, bros. So interesting fact coming up, man. Mm-hmm. So we are gonna legalize weed in Sri Lanka. There have been some rumors about it. So, uh-huh. so we are getting some rumors about it. You know, President Gotabe Rajapaksa has been uh, saying that, uh, like rumors about it. There are some calls, you know, all of it, news about it. So he has been, like, has some ideas about legalizing the weed. Mm-hmm. In Sri Lanka. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's it. So, what are your thoughts? Yeah, it has its advantages and disadvantages, clearly. Uh-huh. Yeah. My thoughts. Uh huh. So, like, we'll take about real life examples, certainly. We'll take about Canada. So, okay. So, Canada has generated $8.26 billion in a year, the first year of legalizing wheat itself. Damn. Okay. That's, that's the first thing. Mm hmm. Eight point two six million billion dollars, billion dollars. Mm-hmm. So it could be a heavy growth for an economy. So n- no doubts about it. heavy growth for an economy itself. As well as we would be. Uh, is it? I think uh, we yeah. would be. Uh, you know, we we will have regulations, man. To certainly use it. Yeah, we'll have regulations for it. Not like everybody is gonna sell out weed, and we we don't you know only farmers could sell weed. We will have like significant regulations about it also. Like Absolutely. unlike you know uh, right uh, now we can actually see a smuggler going or selling out weed to small kids. Not a problem at all. But still over here we are gonna promote regulations through it. Then it would actually, you know, uh, reduce the amount of crime rates. So you know numerous of cases in news itself. We could see that two cases amount of worth of weed has been sold out. All of it has been smuggled to Sri Lanka, as well as it has been sold to kids. You know, certainly a, a drastic amount of crime rates would reduce. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. These so, are the pros. A drastic amount of crime rates would reduce. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but but still, there are cons to it. There are some disadvantages to it. Mm-hmm. No doubt of it. Okay. Like if we legalize weed they could seriously they could buy legal weed that's it legally they could buy weed we would be promoting more stoners to the economy itself. <laughs> but then again it's not for we? medical we would use be promoting i think more stoners to the economy but it's for like, yeah, medical yeah. purposes only right go check around man people are buying medical drugs yeah they are it has been called out to medical drugs man but seriously they could buy illegally from oh, yeah, pharmacies still. they could Go out to these pharmacies and get an you know fake you know medical prescription and buy it out. It could happen. Absolutely, absolutely. No doubt so, of it. So do you it think it will? Happen. So do you think it will worsen the situation? So now yeah. these uh, weed dealers they can like sell bad, still sell bad quality stuff. They can still cut it and sell. But the thing is, the, the whatever they're selling in that way is yeah, much now, more now purer. Those those won't happen, right? Uh huh. But what if you're what if you're like a farmer? No, no, those won't happen. The illegal selling of weed won't happen. It won't happen. It would actually generate growth to the economy at a point at a certain point. What if you're a farmer and like you have access won't to? It? What do you mean? Uh, let's say if you're a farmer and if you have access to. So they could. Okay. So like, 
uh, obviously uh, some yeah. the crops can be stolen and the farmer can illegally sell it to some company or some individual who is obviously going to use this to uh, sell it illegally per se uh, <laughs> it'll be pure dude that's the it'll farmer's problem man uh, i mean it would be pure it it should be much pure much more better for the end consumer <laughs> for the end consumer it's going to be really good but yeah. at the same time like yeah i don't think it'll be I think this is something we need to know. Um no, like you... Yeah. So like uh, in It would in... be more secure man. I think this weed production cultivation would be more secure. Then it would be much it, more obviously. secure than normal cultivation, I guess. Yeah, then it, getting it illegal. It would have, yeah. yeah, it would it would have substantial amount of restrictions all of it. Like so many paperwork to be done to have a legal legal weed farm itself probably. Yeah. but still there's another disadvantage to to this segment of argument like there will be more teen uses right so that would be certainly effective you know that would be a huge disadvantage to the economy itself S- since uh, weed has an effect on teen uses mm-hmm. so after a certain amount of age only you will you will have the you know i don't know you will have the you know con- the provided i don't know at a certain amount of age only you, your brain will develop at a certain point right you know oh, I, that's I that, that's saying. that thing too so yeah, at, yeah, at, the, yeah the health risk i think you're talking about the health risk of it you know when we improvise teen usage of weed itself their brain development will be slower so at a certain and brain damage into certain like, areas yeah still yeah. your brain is growing right yeah yeah yeah, yeah still your brain is growing until you like until 19, you're 24 years of old 24. yeah the, yeah 24 it is 25 24 so yeah, so if you're using okay. the weed at that age yeah. it'll, until you're 24 years of old that's when like all these side effects or should i say uh, that's indeed the side effects yeah and uh, what do you call uh, script so script the development will be slow <laughs> uh, the forgot, brain de- uh, yeah development oh, yeah now. schizophrenia 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 ah there we go that's how you pronounce it so yeah, that that would be, be that'll be very uh, what do you call <laughs> but obviously there are ways to disprove this here and there but yeah. obviously we're not going to go into it um uh, but like we're just talking about in, in the in general that could happen into it yeah so. the people like the teen usage is is in jeopardy man the teen use, teen to smoke weed mm-hmm. their health might be at a risk their brain might be at a risk absolutely yeah. um, but other than that it is a great 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 economic growth <laughs> it would actually raise the gdp amount really Absolutely. it would be in competition to these cigar companies as well as all these uh, um you know foreign alcoholic companies itself absolutely and also uh, another you know, thing i want to add is in our country itself yeah another thing i want to add is like you know if you take marijuana for example there's a uh, two two main substances there is a thc and there's cbd so We mm-hmm. need to know how the, these farmers are cultivating this. So, is it like THC, more THC, or more CBD? So, since they are yeah. medically uh, aligned, I think there'll be more so, CBD. Yeah. Less THC. So, there's there'll be less of a high. Okay. So, if they are using it illegally, mm-hmm. will they consume more? And also, um, are the side effects a lot lesser? So, that's another debate we need to have, maybe at a different time. But it's just for our viewers to think about. Yeah, it, it is seriously for medical usage, right? Yeah, so so no CBD and all. Yeah, mostly they're gonna we make a lot of that. Mostly, I mean, they're gonna yeah, they, you'll get less amount of high. That's the thing. I mean, they're just using the weed and extracting the the CBD. Yeah. That's that's what exactly what they're doing. They're not really like smoking weed uh, in hospitals. You know, they're extracting no. like uh, oils and <laughs> no, 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 and the cream no. or whatever. <laughs> no. Uh, no nah, they won't be allowed to do it man they won't be allowed to uh, <laughs> they won't smoke. be allowed to do it smoke right? they're not they, allowed they, to smoke a joint at the hospital dude <laughs> yeah the that's the thing so uh they give they extract the cbd mm. is extracted right the oil like i said the oil the paste the, uh, the creams then they are applied to those areas of yeah, uh, yeah. pain or uh the oil is see the uh, what do you call consumed it's like that right so it's just for for pain relief and you know uh, therapy and all that so the thc part will be very low only they medical are, purposes medical purposes so the, hopefully if that i don't know if it's hopefully or not but it depends on how they are manufacturing it so again illegal farmers farmers can illegally make yeah. the the thc version as well 
and illegally sell it to these individuals. So uh, I'm really interested to see how this plays out. But they gotta like really yeah, but work on the regulations. Yeah, still, yeah, exactly. How it is being implemented in the economy itself? I would really, thing. you know, surprised to see it also. That's the thing. Probably. So shall this we go could on be to... uh, fucking rumors. Yeah. Finally, <laughs> this could be rumors. This could That's be rumors. Thing. So, um, shall we move on to the next yeah. um, topic? So moving on, uh, what else? We got the Jeff Bezos story. So, Jeff yeah. Bezos, after moving on. I think uh, 15 years, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, years of service to the company Amazon mm-hmm. that he built from scratch, built from break and break and you know, build it to this empire. He's finally stepping down. He's working on other ventures. Uh, I think the space venture. Blue, Blue Origin, and all that. So, like I said, um, he, I think yeah. he's going to be working on his um, side projects. Um, he's going to be like advising. He's not going to be working on the, the Amazon that we know. He's going to be working on those other Amazon products. Oh, shouldn't I shouldn't say products, ventures, and uh, projects such as, like I mentioned, the Blue Blue Origin, uh, you know, s- space. Uh, what do you call space travel mm-hmm. and all that? So he's going to be working on those, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but he's gonna yeah, be man. stepping now down. Now it's his time, dude. He wanna, you know, step in down. It's better. It's better for him. You know, he has been the richest man for three years, I guess. He has been the richest man. He has seen his high highs and lows. He has been working for Amazon for a huge while. The company is a huge success right now. He just need to step down and work. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, man. He has certainly achieved everything he can, man. He has certainly been the, you know, worst with this man for three fucking years, like, in a straight long years, three years, as well as he has been working towards space projects, as well as he has been improvising the Amazon venture itself. He has built it upon, man, now it's a digital firm, it's a clear digital firm, technological firm. Absolutely. So he has done everything he can to improvise Amazon itself. Yeah. Now he just want to step down and enjoy his life, follow enjoy through his, his passions, you know, go ahead. And they do yeah, some kind of take, philanthropic take work. Take a step down, man. Yeah, be like Bill Gates. Be like, like Bill Gates. Bill Gates oh. How old is he? He's um fifty. Is in his fifties. Fifty six years old, I think. Yeah, man. You know, Larry Page also dropped his first position down right now. Oh, Google really? Yeah. Google itself. He's uh, stepped. Yeah, he did. He did. Long time back. Sundar uh, Pichai is a CEO of uh, yeah, Alphabet yeah. 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 Yeah, so I think uh, who's yeah. taking over? I think uh, the number two of Amazon. I forgot the name. It's uh, J James. I think James just something like that. Let me quickly search. Uh, James. Uh, well, sorry, sorry. I forgot. Um, because Andy, they Andy, up- Andy. He's uh, an Andy. <laughs> let me su- quickly search an email. He's an Amazon. Andy Dial. Dial. Yeah, Google is still saying Jeff Bezos is the. What do you call the guy? Who will be you the know, next CEO? Not CEO? Andy Jassy. It's Andy Jassy. Andy Jassy. Andy Jassy. That's, Andy Jassy. that's why Andy I was like Jassy. James Andy Justin. Jassy. Andy Jassy. Yeah, that's Andy Jassy has so. become the CEO. Of, it's not uh, Andy Jassy. It's Andy so Jassy. He's gonna take over the uh, venture Amazon itself. So yeah. he has been he has been working for twenty four years. I think. Let's hope for good future for Amazon. Yeah, I mean, good future for them means a bad future for us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, I mean not really, but I mean, <laughs> the, we, 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 I mean in the privacy and no. all, that, all that stuff, yeah. But, uh, but you know, other than that, like the uh, uh, we have, the products, we have, man, we have those issues. Dude. In terms of like, yeah, the there, there have products, been a huge product. marketing company, chap. Yeah, yeah. In terms of products, I'm, I'm satisfied exactly, with their man. services and products. So yeah, kudos to them. Uh, for all the best for them. All right. Kudos to them. Yeah. So, uh, shall we uh, wrap up today's Definitely episode? Man. It's good, f- you know, Jeff Bezos stepped down and he's gonna follow his passion. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, like, comment, subscribe. Of course. And share your thoughts about this video. Absolutely. And, um, and leave a comment. Yeah. Do you think we should be legalized in our country right now? Do you think about it? That's a very good so, question. Like, yeah. comment, subscribe and share your thoughts about it. So, signing off. Cool. Pick these bad dads, make it hurt.